friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. Now we're canning beets. These are the beets that Angie and I picked yesterday and we just put in buckets of water, gave them a coarse wash. Now I'm going to trim them, trim the stems. I'm not, I'm leaving the root on and I'm, and I'm leaving two inches worth of stem so as not to bleed while I partially cook these before canning them. Okay, whoops. So I'm gonna put uh, cold water in these, bring them up to a boil and simmer them for a good five minutes and then I'm going to immerse them in ice water and we will peel them and get them okay, ready. Okay, so our beets are boiling and we're going to set the timer for five minutes. Sorry about the steam. We're going to set the timer for five minutes. And then we are going to strain them and put them in ice water. All right, folks, my beets have been cooking for five minutes in boiling water. So we're gonna be very, very careful, folks. And dump them in there. Now here's all our beets soaking in ice water till they completely chill, and then I can peel them and can them. Alrighty. Here is our beets. Uh, parboiled and then soaked in ice water. You can also see there's another picking of beans ready to go, but they're in water until I can get to them. And now I'm just, I have my compost bucket over here and I'm just gonna cut this off. Now these should almost, yeah, look at that, the skin slip right off. Whoa, look at that. That's how you know they're done right. <laughs> this is actually kind of fun. Here is our canner with the recommended amount of water in the bottom and a splash of vinegar to keep the jars from clouding. Here is our hot water we're going to fill our jars with. Our beets, our four jars canning lids in hot water, rings, and wash jars. Let's get canning. Alrighty. We're going to take a half a teaspoon of salt. So I'm just going to start filling my jar to one inch from the top. Look at these beets, Angie. I'm salivating. I just want to put salt and pepper on them and eat them all. There we go. And then we're going to top it up to one inch from the top. Always, always debubble. If you don't debubble properly, when the pressure starts, there will be bu if there's bubbles in the bottom, it will push the liquid out of the top, trying to get to the top of the jar. So always wipe with a clean, damp paper towel or rag. This is a rag soaked in vinegar, a clean rag soaked in vinegar. And into the canner that goes.
I don't have enough for a full pint, so I'm going to throw in a handful of uh, green and yellow beans because sometimes I like beets and beans together anyway. You can can two different vegetables together as long as you process them for the one that requires the most amount of processing time. In this case, it's the beets. Here is our canner full of pints of beets, including one jar of beets and beans. Beans would take 20 minutes, beets take 30 minutes. So we're gonna process them at 30 minutes. I'm gonna put the lid on our canner. Allow this to come up to steam. And when it begins to spout a steady stream of steam, we'll vent the canner for 10 minutes. Please do not skip that process. Pushing, venting the canner means it's pushing air out. So that when you put the weight on, everything inside goes under pressure. If you don't vent it properly, it won't give you the proper pressure. Okay? So let's let that come up. And our timer is three, two, one. All right. We're going to put our 10 pound weight on here. And when this gives us our first vigorous jiggle, we're going to turn it down a little bit. And we're going to start timing this for 30 minutes for pints, 35 minutes for quarts. This is beets. If you live a thousand feet or more above sea level, please check your manufacturing directions on your canner. Your weight and measurements and times may change. And there is our first vigorous jiggle. And I'm gonna set my timer for 30 minutes. I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit. Just a little bit between medium and maximum. Okay, our timer has gone off, so we're going to turn off the canner, and we're going to let it cool down. You let it cool down naturally. Don't try and jiggle the weight, or don't jiggle the weight. Don't try and cool it down with cold towels or putting it in a sink. Don't move it. Just let it cool down naturally until you can put your hands on the lid or on the sides comfortably. Alrighty. It's uh, still hot, but it's cool enough that the bobble is down. Now I'm going to open the canner away from me to allow any steam out. And look at that. And there they are, my harvest of beets. Tomorrow, I'm going to go outside and plant some more. I might just get another crop before the snow flies. Take care, God bless, squeeze that quarter. Remember folks, if you're a home canner and you're not trying four jars canning lids, you are missing out. These are heavier than any other disposable lid on the market. They are a US company and if you order over $100, your shipping is free. Check in the description box below this video for a link to Four Jars Canning Lids and use the coupon code HALFACRE, all one word in capital letters, for 10% off. Check them out on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok for ideas and recipes. Four Jars Canning Lids, you can't go wrong.